gonna create as much foam as we can in the first part. But 45 degrees is not really a temperature we're looking for. Your customers will be absolutely delighted with that. They will ask for your manager or whatever, right? So we're looking for another temperature, which is 70 degrees. 70 degrees, why, why 70 degrees the border? Because it's a temperature when the lactose, so sugars in milk, over caramelize, get burnt. So uh, milk hotter than 70 degrees with the bitter, right? And uh, Italian the cappuccino was very frothy years ago, 50 years ago. There's a lot of froth, like a foamy, foamy head. It was bitter because it was over, over steam a lot. So they were putting chocolate on the top to make it taste like something, right? So we doing 70 degrees is our border, of course, as a default. Of course, your customers might ask you for extra, extra hot. Usually they are 80 years old or so, so they drink that for 50 years. So we can't really try to teach them something new. There's no point, they like this way, so just leave it as it is. But, um, because 64 degrees is more or less the temperature when our body cells are dying, right? And, uh, so uh, your body will tell you before that temperature is like, mate, that's, that's it. Yes. Uh, we're saying we're supposed to use cold milk. That's one, one main reason for that. Hassabrot. Hassabrot says keep the milk in the temperature between 1 and 5 degrees. That's it. We have to follow that. Can I steam foam the milk which is over 5 degrees? Of course I can. Of course. The problem is, as I said, 45 degrees is our first order, uh, first temperature. So if the milk is the room temperature 25 degrees, we have only 20 degrees of time of doing that, right? If it's 5 degrees, you have 40 degrees of time, so it'll be longer. So you need, you need more time to do it. You have more time to steam nicely the milk. So that, this, is, this is quite important. Like if you're good enough, you can do it with, with room temperature milk. Okay. Now, how much milk do we have to put in? About half. So instead of playing with the volume of the milk in the jug, like, okay, that's a small cup, I will put that much milk. I want a smaller jug. Because half, if there's not enough milk here, the pressure of the steam will blow the milk into your face. Half is enough, so the steam will keep, uh, the steam won't blow it into your face, and you still have enough room to create a foam. Now, making the milk that the foam itself is like whiskey and eggs. It's exactly the same thing. We add it here, you tilt it. Why? So you can see what's happening inside. There's a number of bodies that are in this. Yeah, yeah, I get that. And then they do this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, how many people you know whiskey and egg like this? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's my favorite okay. note. It doesn't work. Another thing, you are basically spinning that. So you add in the air and you want to give it a spin. So the, the foam is the airy, airy egg. It, it just mixing with the rest of the egg and at the end it's nice and cold meat. Same as uh, structured milk. Same with the milk, right? Um, yeah. Now, uh, the good information here is you have a power, powered waste. You don't have to move it. You don't have to move your jug at all. The only difference is um, you will slightly move it if you want to have a milk for a cappuccino or a latte. What's the difference between cappuccino and latte? Same as uh, Muran and Omelette. Exactly the same thing. More air, that's it. So, keep the, the head of the steam on slightly underneath the surface of the milk, right? With time, we, that, that will give us the sound, right? That will start rising the milk. The milk will rise, the steam will be different the milk, it will stop doing sound, it will stop making foam. So for latte it's perfect, for cappuccino as we need a bit more, we're slightly gonna move the, the, the jug slightly down to keep the head still underneath the surface, that's it. So the difference between cappuccino and latte is basically that's a latte, that's a cappuccino. That's it, there's nothing more. So let's imagine this is, I will show you that like first, the, the dry way, and then that doesn't take seconds. Right? So this is your 12 o'clock on your clock, right? I like to sample that on the drip tray, not need it that like that, but have a sample. Why? If you don't have much space in your pop shop, you can slightly move. This is still in the same position. If you want, you will just do this, that, that will make a great mess. So, 12 o'clock. Different, are you right or left handed? I'm right handed. Right handed. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Proper, proper I'll drop it into my right hand, so we'll slightly move it this way. If the steam pump will be slightly on the side, then the power, the, 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 the force of the steam will spin the milk in it. 
so same and it's in an egg room to spin it to, to mix the foam with the rest of the milk in the same time. So, and, and that's it. I, for latte, I want to remove it. At some point, it will just increase the amount of milk it needs and then just stop. For cappuccino, I slightly move it. That's it. So, two minutes. How? First, what are we first in that? Get the, get no, not even feel, it's like cleaning. Not even that should be clean after you. The problem is that fall turning back to water. You don't have to have water in there. In the, 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 in the